Willie D. Live. Man, how is your health? I'm good. You good? Yeah, man. I had like a uh, heart failure, right? In 2000, in 2021? I think so, yep, yep. Yeah. And um, they did this procedure called uh, a fibrillation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, right now, it's like it never happened. You know what I'm saying? They said it could be like that for up to like six or seven years. Yeah. They predict. You know what I mean? But it could flip at any second back to what it was. Now, here's, here's the thing. Before I had that procedure, we did a concert. You know, so in other words, when I was in what they call AFib. Yeah, uh, atrial fibrillation. Yep. Yeah. When I had that, um, before I had that procedure, and my heart beat started, uh, went back to regular, you know what I'm saying? Because my shit is regular now like it was, like it mm -hmm. never happened. Yeah. But um, I did a concert. Like, in other words, they told me with, with AFib, you can live a normal life, you know, a, a full life. You just got to pace yourself better, you know what I'm saying? Cause, Cause you're getting to run out of breath quicker. Yeah. First thought was I can't be fighting. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't because that's the worst way to run out of your breath. Yeah. But, you know. And I was like, um, all right, you know. And so anyway, we're doing our show and I'm on stage, and I was like, okay, so I see that I can do this if it happens, if it flips, you know. And I'm back to this, I can still perform. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. I did a show, but then I had the procedure. And, um, yeah, I fucking uh, am back to where it was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So other than not being allowed to fight, which you clearly enjoy. <laughs> no, no, um, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm playing. I don't mind. <laughs> well, well, other than fighting, uh, were there any uh, strategies that your doctor uh, advised you to, to, to prevent complications? Um, yeah, I got to take, like, a blood thinner. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that's the main thing, you know what I mean? Take a blood thinner because uh, uh, a blood clot could develop at any minute, you know? Mm. See, people don't know this, you know? But um, I almost <laughs> I'm going to tell you something nobody knows, okay? The heart failure thing, I had that procedure. My heart is beating regular like it always has. There's, you know, I, I see a cardiologist. They're just maintaining everything's still going all good. Everything's like everything's looking great, you know. Mm -hmm. Take that blood thinner just in case, you know what I mean, or whatever, you know. But what people don't know is I fucking got pneumonia, right? And um, what happened was I'm sitting at the house, and all of a sudden I'm super weak. Like I'm walking to the studio or or. Just walk into the kitchen, I'm like, damn, I feel weak, you know what I mean? I wonder if it, it somehow flipped worse than it was. You know what I'm saying? My heart flipped back worse, but worse or some. Why am I feeling all weak, you know? And then I started just, just to get up, to get to the bathroom, I'd be like, <laughs> and I was like, okay, something's, something's wrong, you know what I'm saying? So then I was like, I'm gonna go to the hospital. So to pack a bag, right, for the hospital, because I knew I was probably going to be there. I thought something's wrong with my heart, something's wrong with my heart. You know, that's what I kept thinking. I'm packing a bag. It took me three hours to pack the bag, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. I was, like, winded. When I say blowing up, I mean winded, you know what I'm saying? Finally, I fucking somehow made it to the porch. And I looked at my truck, and I was like, there's no fucking way I'm making it to her. You know what I'm saying? And I called 911, right? Ambulance came. Nobody knows this shit. Ambulance came. Put me in the ambulance. I passed out on the way. I was on life support five days. Straight up. I was on life support. I, when I woke up, I had a big ass fucking tube in my mouth. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I woke up, you know, and I just started, I just started pulling that thing out of my mouth, you know. But that, that shit goes all the way into your gut, you know what I mean? It was like one of those things that help you breathe. But I didn't know I was waking up, you know. I didn't know what the fuck was going on, you know what I mean? I pulled that thing out of my mouth, it was like all the way in my gut. And, and then I was like, 
you know, and the shit started going, dee, dee, dee. nurses came running in, and they're like, he's awake, you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. They start explaining to me, man, one doctor after another, after another, let me, listen, they were not gentle about this. That's the thing. They weren't sensitive about this. They weren't fucking trying to sugarcoat this or make sure I didn't, you know, worry about how, they were like, you almost died. We can't believe you're alive. 